Hello and welcome to another blog post. It's been a while. This one is about the project we're currently on, which is the documentary project. For this documentary project, I'm working with a gentleman called Dylan Cox, and we are doing the Ghost of Strode Theatre. This blog post will be about the survey results, my audience, and how I'm going to target them. So let's get into the results. For the question one, which is how old are you, uh, we received a sample size of 75.76 of people between the age of 16 to 20. We received a sample of 6% uh, on 21 to 30. We didn't receive any 31 to 40 year olds, however we received a bigger sample size than we imagined for the 41 to 50 year olds, which is 12.12%. We did receive a 6% result on 51 plus. For gender, we nearly got a 50-50, however, we received a, a slightly larger sample size of men to women, but we also received a 3% sample size of non-binary people and a 6% size of other, which were mostly gender fluid. For how often do we watch documentaries? We received a 6% sample size on daily. We received a 36.36 size on weekly. Our highest result was a 45% on monthly. And then we got a 9% on annually. And then we got a 3% on pretty much never. For what sort of um, size documentary, like short form versus long form, we received a greater result for long form than short form. Um, and when we come to making the documentary that would make sense to um, follow that however with the current time constraints our budget and how how we're going to be able to do this we are having to follow the short form in a real world situation we would follow the long form though for platforms our highest result was streaming services such as netflix disney plus stuff like that however we did receive uh, the second greatest on uh, general tv then youtube and then we got another result for DVD, which is quite nice to see that old form of media still sort of battling on. For types of documentary we watch, we got things ranging from crime, paranormal, conspiracy, political, nature, historical, and general psycho psychological, which we'll be following at least three of those different genres with paranormal, conspiracy, and historical. Paranormal due to the fact that we're experiencing in a performative way of documentary making the actual paranormal side of Strode Theatre. The conspiracy because it's not exactly your typical documentary, so like why the ghosts are there, how they got there, stuff like that, and whether it's an entirely true experience, whether it's a conspiracy. And then historical, because we will be looking at the historical side of the theatre, just coincidentally, because that's how we're going to have to do our research on the ghosts. <clears throat> when it comes to people who have visited Strode Theatre, we got the highest result on that. So yes, people have visited Strode Theatre on our sample size. We had a slightly lower result of people that have never heard of it, but would still be interested. And we've got people that have heard about it. On the question of, do you believe in ghost hauntings? We received a 24.24 result on people that do believe. We received the same result on people that don't believe. And then our highest result was not sure, which was a 51.52 uh, result. So they're not sure, but they'd be open to discovering either side. So people that would be interested in the paranormal activity of our sample size, we received a 75.76 result saying yes, they would be interested. Um, then we received a 3% saying no. And we received a 21% saying they're not sure, depending on how it would be done and stuff like that. So, how are we targeting our audience? When it comes to discovering who our audience are, the sample, the actual survey is really useful. But we also need to consider the, three, the four C's. So of the four C's, which is a media theory to do with the types of audience and members and how to target them, we're going to be targeting the explorer, the reformer, and the mainstreamer. The explorer because they are into discovery and following vicariously through media experiences they might not be able to have. The reformer because they're into enlightenment, so the people that are not sure on ghost hauntings, they might be more interested into this if they're the reformer due to the fact that they might like to be dissuaded either way, whether they're whether ghost hauntings are real or whether they're not. And the mainstreamer because 
they are into mainstream topics. So ghosts and stuff are quite prevalent in our media today with horror movies and stuff like that. So they would find it more interesting and ergo be part of our audience and how we're going to target them. Um, the next point of how we're going to target our audience is what services we're going to be using. So whilst on the survey, people were more inclined towards um, streaming services, a certain percentage said they still use YouTube to find their documentaries, which is quite interesting because that's how we're going to be putting it out. Seeing as we're students, it makes sense to put our, our, survey, our documentary out on YouTube. However, if this was a real world situation, we would be putting it out on a streaming service. However, we do not have the budget nor the backing, unfortunately. I think that's going to be the it, it for our little blog post today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and here's to the many more I'll be making this year. Thank you.